Let's take a look at the protein hydrolysis, protein denaturation, and the refolding. First, let's take a look at the protein hydrolysis. Peptide bonds are amide bonds that are hydrolyzable in water in presence in presence of uh, acid, base, or enzyme. Uh, proteins can be hydrolyzed into a single amino acids or small peptide fragment, depending on the conditions. It's often used for protein amino acid content analysis, protein, protein sequencing, protein mass de determination, and uh, structural analysis. That's uh, uh, the, the structural uh, information here. This is a uh, two di oh, This is a tri peptide. This one molecule is uh, is isolucine. It's a glycine. It's a phenylalanine. Look, it's three. Amino acid residues, a uh, tripeptide, and uh, they can be hydrolyzed at at the uh, peptide bond, amide bond here, CN bond, CN bond, and form a uh, uh, three amino acid. Three amino acid one is uh, isolution, glycine, and uh, phenylalanine. And next, let's uh, take a look at the. Protein denaturation, protein denaturation and refolding at a harsh condition such as high temperature or in presence of protein denaturation agents, the protein loses the structure, native structure uh, features and functions by disruption of non-covalent bonds between amino acid residues. Disulfide bonds are also broken by including reducing agents, but the peptide bond are not hydrolyzed. This is a denaturation. Protein refolding, a denatured protein is able to refold into its native structure and restore its functions at certain conditions and by a, a, a particular procedures. Protein denaturation and refolding protocols are often used for producing recombinant proteins for a variety of applications.